All right, you're here with Modmaster J, and we're going to be going over a huge review on the iPhone 4 uh, jailbroken with Cydia. Okay, so one of the first apps you should get, or first tweaks you should get, sorry, is um, called SB Settings. After you install it, you'll swipe down at the top of your iDevice, and you'll get different toggles for your 3G airplane mode, Wi-Fi, um, just different toggles you can just click on and off. Um, it's got all different uh, settings down here, um, different power settings, reboot, uh, reset, power off. Um, has a separate dock down here. I'd like to put my settings uh, apps in here from or my setting tweaks in here. Um, I got City in here. I got my iFile, make it mine, rename uh, my settings, uh, backgrounder, 3G unrestrictor, categories, my V wallpaper, my installius 4, um, my Y, and um, an, another program called uh, Doc. And it's just like a backgrounding program. Um, I haven't fully used it yet. I don't think I'll be going over that one today. But that's about the only one I won't go over. Um, all these other ones I'll be going over today um, with you. Um, so that's the first one you should get is the uh, SB settings. And um, it really allows you to do um, easy access to different things. Um, different toggles. Um, and this is the uh, actual settings for it. So you can set toggles, uh, your activation method, uh, how you want to activate it, uh, SB settings theme, uh, the options for it, uh, and dock applications. So in that dock, you just click on dock applications, and then you add which docks, um, what you want to show up in that dock. Um, you can also hide icons in here. Um, if you want to hide any icons that you don't really use, you just want to hide them while well, poof they go away um, and that's pretty much it for uh, SB settings uh, you can play around with it but uh, it's a really useful one and uh, that's the first one you should get from Cydia okay the next one we're gonna do is called multi-flow um, and it works with backgrounder um, so what you do with the what this one is is just to background so if I go into my notes um, and then I, I can push and hold, I have it set to push and hold my home button and it says backgrounding enabled and now it's in my background running um, I can do the same with my uh, I guess my phone I can open up my phone and then we can close it and now I can go into my background I have it set to pinch my screen so if I pinch my screen then it goes to what I had opened and I can go into them or close them from here as well if I want or go into them now if I hit the home button again and close it um, it will stay in the background until I actually close it from here and then now no background run apps running so really cool program it's called multi flow um, get backgrounder first then uh, go and install Multiflow from Cydia. And uh, it is a great uh, tweak. And uh, I like it for backgrounding. And I don't have that multi native backgrounding anymore, what they give you. Um, I took it off, I disabled it. You can also disable that from Insidia as well. Um, it's called Disable uh, iOS 4 Multitasking uh, Insidia. Our uh, next one's Lockdown Pro. Um, and what that does is when you push and hold your icons um, it'll bring up a little lock underneath them and um, then you can just hit the lock put in the passcode that you set for it and uh, then these white the white little locks will actually turn to uh, red locks and then every time you click on the actual app um, it'll ask for a password um, so it's called Lockdown Pro, and uh, it's one of the best app locking um, tweaks that I've found from Cydia, um, and it works really great. Uh, the next one here we got is Lock Info. 
Um, it's kind of a bunch of different settings right now. I have it uh, set with the weather. It gives me my weekly weather report on the lock screen. What the current weather is, uh, the date, time. Um, I have all my favorites set here for um, my phone. So I can just phone someone right off my lock screen. Um, and it also gives me my mails anytime I get new emails. So um, yeah, it's cool. You can put a bunch of different things. Have Twitter on here, Twitter on here. Um, you know, a bunch of different stuffs in the settings uh, when you get into it, and you can uh, set it to what uh, you desire. So uh, yeah, that's lock info. Okay, this one's called Q Twitter, and uh, it's just updating your Facebook and Twitter accounts on the fly. So basically, I just start from my um, the top of my springboard and uh, I drag down from my status bar down and um, I'll just put test and uh, so you write your tweet in, you could add pictures, photos, go to your camera uh, video, whatever, library um, but I'm just going to update the test, so you just hit update status it updates complete, bang, and it tweets so that's my tweeter uh, Q tweeter uh, for the iDevice. Uh, one called Overboard. Um, I have it set to double tap my status bar. And then what it does is it brings you to all your pages. So uh, uh, I want to go to my last page. So I'll just hit the last uh, icon here. And it brings me right to my last page. Double tap my status bar back to my first page and bang so that one's called overboard and uh, I don't know it's a neat little one I don't use it much but uh, I have it there and it's, uh, it's a tweak so um, yeah again you can set it to what you want or however you want to do it in activator and um, I have it set to double tap the status bar and it opens up Okay, the next ones are called Custom Grid and Grid Lock. So what Custom Grid allows you to do is set uh, your columns and rows uh, for your folders and your springboard. So I have mine set to five across and five down, five rows down, five columns. So five columns, five rows. Uh, that's what I have it set to right now. Um, and uh, what grid lock does is allows you to take uh, any icon and move it to wherever you'd like on your springboard so I can take it drag it in the middle and drop it there um, again take it drag it drop it wherever you want uh, on the springboard so yeah that's called uh, grid lock and um, that's a really cool one to have too so uh, you can place your icons and have control of uh, anywhere you want to put your icon on your springboard okay so I'm just gonna take you through my settings here and uh, let you have a visual on uh, what my new settings or your new settings may look like after you uh, open up your settings once you put the tweaks in